Hello everyone, welcome back to the course Expansive Soil. This will be the closer lecture of this course and before starting I would like to thank all of you for being part of this course. This course was created with an objective in mind to give an idea to the students, researchers, the design engineers and the site engineers about the problem related with the expansive soils and providing them a basic knowledge on handling the problems in a much systematic and scientific manner. As the beginning of the course, I told you that a large portion of the Indian landmass is occupied with expansive soil and this expansive soil creates a lot of problem to the structures. Therefore, it is quite essential to study and learn about the expansive soil and also how to handle the problem. And this course was designed to give an idea about the fundamentals of expansive soil and its behavior the swelling shrinkage characteristics and their determination, how to determine the swelling behavior, how to determine the shrinkage behavior in the laboratory and what are the different factors which controls the swelling shrinkage behavior of the soil and how to treat an expansive soil in the field. If we encounter an expansive soil in the field, then what are the different methods of treatment? Then what are the different engineering applications of the expansive soil? Keeping all these objectives in mind, the course was designed. The course was delivered in 8 weeks and the course was divided in 8 modules and the total number of 24 lectures were given to cover this subject. In the module 1, the introduction to soil mechanics, I explain you about the different methods of formation of the soil, the index properties and classification of the soil and engineering properties of the soil. The first module objective was to give some basic knowledge or idea about the soil and their behavior to the participants to give the basic idea about the soil mechanics. The module 2 was related with the clay mineralogy. In this module, I discussed in details about different clay mineralogy, their identification and their properties and how this clay mineral controls the soil behavior. In the third module, I give some introduction to the expansive soil, how the soil expands and how this creates problem to the structures or foundation. In the fourth module, I explain you about the, the swelling behavior of the expansive soil. In this module, I explain you about the soil water interaction. That means how the soil expands when in contact with water and the swelling behavior of the expansive soil how to determine the swelling behavior and the factors which controls the diffusible layer thickness, then how to determine the swelling properties in the laboratory, their classification and the prediction of the expansive behavior in the field. Then I explain you about different factors controlling the swelling behavior of the soil. In the module 5, I explained about the swelling shrinkage characteristics of expansive soil in which I explain in details about the shrinkage behavior of the soil, the factors which controls the shrinkage behavior and how to determine the various parameters of shrinkage characteristics in the laboratory. So, all these things were covered in the module 5. In the module 6, I explained you about the different thermomechanical, hydraulic and chemical behavior of the expansive soil. How this expansive soil behaves when there is a temperature change or when it comes in contact with different chemicals under different mechanical forces or what is their hydraulic behavior under different factors. So, in this module, I discussed about the thermomechanical, hydraulic and chemical behavior of expansive soil. In the seventh module, I discussed about how to treat an expansive soil when we encounter in the field. In this, I discussed briefly about different methods related with mechanical treatment, hydraulic treatment, chemical treatment and treatment by inclusion and confinement. Since all these methods are very large and it is a subject by itself, so therefore I discussed briefly about all these methods. In the last module, that is module 8, I explained you about the different application of expansive soil, particularly how to design a foundation when we encounter an expansive soil in the field. 
what are the different uh, methods of providing foundation, what are the different type of foundation which we can provide. So, I discussed all these things in the module 8. And in the last class, I explained you about the different geotechnical engineering application of expansive soil. In this lecture, I explain what are the different engineering application, how we can use or how we can take the advantage of the swelling and low hydraulic conductivity of expansive soil for different geotechnical applications, particularly in the field of landfill or nuclear waste repository or as a slurry wall, as a drilling fluid. So, all these applications I discussed. And before ending this course, once again I would like to thanks all the participants who has been the part of this course for last 8 weeks. And also I would like to thank uh, my students Riya and Mahesh for actively helping me in designing and producing this lecture. And also I would like to thank the Center for Education and Technology, CET IIT Guwahati and NPTEL IIT Madras for giving me an opportunity to offer this course. And if you have any suggestion or any doubt related to the topic lectures, then please do not hesitate to contact me on this email address. And thank you very much for participating in this course and I wish you all the best for your future. Thanks.